please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. When working on a Python project, it is common to use virtual environments to isolate dependencies and project specific packages. These virtual environments create a dedicated environment for your project, preventing conflicts with other projects. When using version control systems like Git, it's essential to configure a proper .gitinary file to exclude unnecessary files and directories. This tutorial will guide you through creating a .gitinary file tailored for Python virtual environments. The .gitinary file is used to specify intentionally untracked files and directories that Git should ignore. This is particularly useful for excluding files generated during the development process, temporary files, and artifacts that do not belong in version control. A well-configured .gitinary file helps keep your repository clean and avoids clutter. Python virtual environments usually contain a variety of files and directories that are not necessary for version control. Ignoring the virtual environment prevents these files from being included in your Git repository, keeping it focused on the project's source code and configuration. Let's create a .gitinary file specifically for Python virtual environments. This file will exclude commonly generated files and directories. Feel free to adjust this template based on your project's specific needs. Save the .gitinary file at the root of your Git repository. Git will automatically start ignoring the specified files and directories when you commit and push changes. Configuring a proper .gitinary file for Python virtual environments is a good practice to maintain a clean and focused Git repository. By excluding unnecessary files, you ensure that only essential project files are tracked, making collaboration and version control more efficient. ChatGPT